Carl Ballantyne, born Mayor Kessler, was an American magician, comedian and actor. Billing himself as the Great Ballantyne, the Amazing Ballantyne, or Ballantyne, the world's greatest magician, his vaudeville-style comedy routine involved transparent or incompetent stage magic tricks, which tended to flop and go hilariously awry to the wise-cracking Ballantyne's mock chagrin. He has been credited with creating comedy magic and has influenced both comics and magicians. Life and career, Kessler was born in Chicago, Illinois. Nicknamed the Jipper, he was inspired at age nine by his barber who would do magic tricks with thimbles while cutting his hair. His first job was working as a printer. In the 1930s, Kessler was doing professional straight magic as Count Marikoff, Carlton Sharp, and Carl Sharp in Chicago, helping support his family, and later moved to New York City, where he performed in nightclubs and on television variety shows. In the early 1940s, he gave up real magic, when he realized he could not be as good as some of his peers. According to his daughter, a Euro Euro night, one of his tricks got screwed up, he said something to cover, and the audience laughed. So he started adding more a Euro he switched to comedy magic and changed his name to Carl Ballantyne, after he noticed a bottle of Ballantyne whiskey in an advertisement and decided it sounded show busynessy and classy, and called the magic act Ballantyne, the world's greatest magician. He was billed as the amazing Mr. Ballantyne, when he played the New York Capitol in 1950, and the great Ballantyne in the Ed Sullivan Show and the Steve Allen Show on television in the 1950s and 1960s. He was the first magician to play Las Vegas, appearing on a bill with Harry James, Betty Grable and Sammy Davis Jr. at El Rancho Vegas in 1956. Ballantyne was cast in several movies including McHale's Navy, Penelope, Speedway, The Shakiest Gun in the West, The World's Greatest Lover, Just You and Me, Kid, Disney's The North Avenue Irregulars and Billy Crystal a Euro unregistered trademark S directorial debut, Mr. Saturday Night, and in numerous television series, including the ABC sitcom McHale's Navy, in which he played Lester Gruber, one of the P.T. Boat Sailors, starring with Ernest Bourne, Joe Flynn and Tim Conway. An early television role cast him as magician a Euro Oe Al Henderson a Euro working the 53rd Precinct Christmas Party for brother-in-law Officer Toddy in episode 15 of the first season of Car 54, Where Are You? First airing December 24, 1961. He also guest starred on The Partridge Family, I Dream of Jeannie as a used car salesman, and on The Monkees episode called The Audition, which aired on January 23, 1967. In 1973 he appeared as Dr. Hank Eam in The Girl Most Likely To. His last feature film appearance was in Amy Semple McPherson, a 2006 biopic about the female evangelist. Ballantyne made his only appearance on Broadway as Like as the Slave Merchant in the 1972 revival of A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum starring Phil Silvers. In later years he was a recurring voice artist on Garfield and Friends, usually as Al J. Swindler, a purveyor of shoddy merchandise and goods. Death Ballantyne died on November 3, 2009 at age 92 at his home in Hollywood, California. His remains were cremated. Personal, Ballantyne's first marriage ended in divorce. In 1955 he married actress Seal Cabot, to whom he remained married until her death in 2000. Their two daughters, Saratoga, an actress, and Molly, an advertising sales executive, are both named after racetracks. Awards and Honors he won the Academy of Magical Arts Special Fellowship in 1973, Performing Fellowship in 1984, and the Louis Award from Tannen's Magic in 1985. In 2007, he received the 2006 Lifetime Achievement Fellowship from the Academy of Magical Arts. The award was presented by Steve Martin, who calls Ballantyne the king of bungling magicians in his memoir Born Standing Up, and said in an interview, Carl Ballantyne influenced not only myself but a generation of magicians and comedians. His was also the most copied act by a host of amateurs and professionals. According to David Copperfield, Carl Ballantyne created comedy magic. The combination of magic and comedy had perhaps been done before, but he truly defined it and made it his own. References
External links, Carl Ballantyne at the Internet Movie Database, Carl Ballantyne at All Movie 17, Frank Cullon. Florence Hackman. Donald McNeely. Vaudeville, Old and New, an Encyclopedia of Variety Performers in America 1. New York, Routledge Pages 65 a Euro 66. ISBN 978-0-415-93853-2. The Great Ballantine. On YouTube, Carl Ballantine. Magicians Hall of Fame. Magic Web Channel, Masters of Illusion, Jewish Magicians of the Golden Age. Exhibition at Skirball Cultural Center April 28 Euro September 4, 2011, Press Release.